Hello everybody, welcome to this really short video by Glasshammer Gaming featuring Mikey from Hellstorm hey Wargaming. <laughs> How, How are you doing, doing bro? Thanks for having me on. Yeah, <laughs> no worries, man. Good. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on, I really appreciate it. No, yeah, mate, thank you very much for coming on. Um, the reason why we're doing this uh, this short video here today, guys, is because there's been quite a lot of talk that, you know, we've got this Hellstorm Wargaming versus Glasshammer Wargaming thing going on, whereas there's none of that, you know, we, we don't have any bad blood. Uh, mm -hmm. We've not fallen out. <laughs> I think loads sure. of people a lot think... Of people are speculating. Yeah, yeah. Saying, yeah. Like, uh, like, I was... I've caused drama to, to shoot you down and you're trying to say yeah. I'm a big, terrible TO. It's been very funny to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. A lot, a lot of people think that we're, we're having a massive fight and things like that. That's not the case. Uh, me and Mikey have been friends for a, a very, very long time. We shared a bed at the last LVO that we, we went to. We did. We snuggled. <laughs> we shared chicken nuggets in bed. It was great. Yeah, it was so fantastic. Uh, but that's it, guys. We've been friends for a very long time. Our channels are very close. We're not going to mm -hmm. fall out over something that happens over toy soldiers on the gaming table. Uh, that's sure. not what this is. Um, just to clarify the reasons why we put our posts up. So um, I had put my post up yesterday just to clarify that the yellow card that I received at the event was not for cheating because a lot of people had messaged me privately uh, with uh, snapshots of conversations they were in where people were just going, this guy's got a yellow for cheating. This guy's got a yellow for cheating. So the only reason we put the post up was just to clarify that it wasn't for cheating. And I think Mikey, for similar reasons, put your post up, didn't you? Yeah, because because you'd put your post up mm -hmm. explaining the situation. A lot of people were then speculating about my decision and what the actions I took regarding the whole thing. Um, so I kind of went in and explained my side of the story, explained that Manny wasn't penalized for cheating or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It was just um, a miscommunication of yeah. what is and isn't sportsman like at an event i guess yeah I, I that think... was a real that was a real like crux of the issue right it was yeah. miscommunication of of what is and isn't allowed what is and isn't spirit of the game yes um, yes that, et cetera. That, yeah. that's what happened we just had a bit of miscommunication that's all it was you know a ruling's been made i respect the to's decision because it's the to's event and uh, you know mm. we're, we're still going to be friends you know there, there's yeah exactly <laughs> nothing's happened you know we've not fallen out it was just a ruling that got made over a game of toy soldiers it's done and uh, exactly. yeah, that, that's all it was. You know, that's why we why we did that. And just to clarify, guys, I um I was basically just employing what I believed to be a tactic to you know be better in the tournament and place better later on in the in the tournament. And it was just more beneficial for me. It's a, it's a tactic that I'd seen multiple people using in the past and i did not know that it would divide the community this much and you know that's uh, that's a big regret of mine I, I did not want to divide the community like this but now i know that this is a a very divisive topic and it does divide the community a lot it's definitely not something that i plan on doing again going into the future because that was not my aim by doing this at all. And uh, I would recommend that, uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody else do this either because uh, yeah. you do get penalized for it, guys. <laughs> the button hammer comes down. <laughs> yes, that hammer comes down and that hammer hurts, maybe. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah, I think exactly. it's quite interesting because I like I obviously do agree that it is so, it is a known issue. Mm -hmm. um, I think the the way it was conducted in this event was quite an extreme version of that yes. as we've met we've both mentioned in our yes. in our like public statements yeah. um but i do think it's something that does need to be addressed and i think that is a very good positive about the whole situation that's coming out because like you look at all of the competitive pages and either facebook groups or reddit and stuff like that all they're talking about now like they're not really talking about us they're talking about like wait wait a minute Wins and battle points is a terrible, terrible pairing system. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why are we using a, this? It's great that that's come out of this, right? That that, that, that is mm -hmm. the thing people are taking away because I think after Mikey's, uh, you know, explained that his it was just about a decision that he thought was deemed not in the spirit of the game, and I've explained, yeah, it was not for cheating. It was something that was deemed not in the spirit of the game. I think everybody's yeah. kind of taken that in and gone right. There was a miscommunication between TO and player. That's why this has happened. But the real issue is the way that the pairings are, are done. So it's really nice to see that that's come out of it. And now I think going forward, a lot of TOs are going to change the way that they do pairings. I know um, for one, we are, we're are we running a tournament this weekend, Glasshammer GT number four. It's a 60 man tournament here in Telford in England. And um, we're doing like a, 
you you get paired in your bracket so however many people have got the same wins along the path to victory but yeah. in your bracket it will be random pairing so it won't matter who scored low who scored high people in the same bracket will just be paired randomly yeah how about yourself yeah, exactly. mike are you thinking about doing something different yeah, I think we kind of we've obviously spoken before this call. Yeah. And we kind of both came to the same conclusion. That seems like the most, the fairest and easiest fix where you have where essentially if you've got if you three rounds in, if you lost your first game and then won your second two, you're likely to be paired up with someone who is on the same standing of lost one then wins two, rather than someone who won two and then lost one, because mm -hmm. then it's hopefully going to put people of the same caliber into the same matchup. Um, and you'll only really get disparity when there's like an odd number, um, which is, I think, is probably better because then um, it is random. You, you have no control over it. You're at the mercy of a random number, which no one can control. Yeah. Um, but then placings is all, also always an issue because then you can be like, well, if you do placings by uh, win path, then if you lose a game, you have no chance of winning. Uh, yes, so it's something that I've been tying with where you take placings back to number of wins and then battle points. So that kind of now you could still game it, but really, if you want to place high, you still need to score as many points as possible because if you drop yeah. any, that's going to really be really detrimental to the final placings. If you do lose a game, um, but if you win six games, you win six games, but you can't really like decide who you're playing. You're playing someone who won the same amount of games you did, no, yeah, or that's, in the that, same order. Yeah, that's right. Actually, that that's totally true because um, that's the thing as well is. It, um, if you do path to victory as like the tiebreaker, like you, you're right, if you drop a game anywhere along the way, doesn't matter how well you do for the rest of the event, you just cannot podium. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the battle points thing, um, you know, like it's hard to game the system if you do it that way because you want to get the maximum amount of points so that you can try and win the event. And yep. um, it doesn't matter whether you try to game the system because your pairings will be done randomly. So there is no yeah, gaming exactly. to do, right? You've, you've got to just get your, your max points that you can possibly get every round. And then you're going to get yep. paired randomly after that. So literally every single time, you've just got to try and get the most points. Because you know at the end, it's all done on battle points. So you know yeah. you, you are going to have to try and do your best in every single game for that reason. So yeah, yeah I, th exactly. I think that's a really good way to fix it. Really good yeah. way to fix I don't it. Know, I don't know if it's the perfect way. I'm Maybe sure there's not. probably other ways you could do it. Um, but for especially like smaller events, like, you know, like ours is at 48, yours at 60. Mm -hmm. I feel mean, like that's probably the easiest way to do things. And yeah. maybe going forward, I know that um, FLG running their larger events at, you know, like eight to 900 people or oh, more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're looking at some other like more sophisticated pairing brackets and uh -huh. like having like more randomization, but then top cuts, et cetera, oh, uh, yeah. on day two yeah. or day three. Um, but I feel like going into it, like, a nice easy fix for now and then we can all work towards like a more robust system in the yeah, future exactly i think um the way to do it is like so we're running this event this weekend and then we'll feed back to the community and all the other tos and yourself mikey you know just to mm. say like how we found it and if there were any issues and you know or if another to can find some issues in there that maybe we can all work to, towards fixing together yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. Awesome. That's what it says. Just benefiting everyone, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah, there you have it, guys. That's what this video is about. You know, there's uh, nothing to see here other than the fact that the pairings are getting fixed all over the world. We fixed it, bro. <laughs> we fixed it. We fi fist bump. If we can do it. Can we do this? I don't know. Where, oh, where, yeah, where, where, we did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're doing it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for taking the time out to speak to me, Mikey. Anytime, mate. Thanks no for having worries. me on. Awesome. And thank you very much for watching, guys. We will see you very soon, hopefully after the tournament, with a little review on how the new pairings worked out. See you later, guys. Bye.